Yeah, I'm gonna do this video on the problems you come up with uh, snow boots. Usually, you don't have a problem with the leather too much because uh, these are Sorrels. The leather's a little higher. Plus, it's easy to treat the leather. You can make the leather last virtually forever with something like Snow Seal. You would put it on there. I put it on the inside and the outside and melt it in with a hair dryer. Um, the real problem comes in where the rubber cracks. And um, I don't know if it's the quality or not that's changed. These are Sorrells from the, the 1970s. And, um, you know, you don't really use snow boots to take heights in. Really, you just take them, go outside and uh, you snuggle snow. Like right now, I'm in a southern area, but I got property up in the Appalachian Mountains where it does snow. And uh, plan to go, go up there sometimes too in the winter. But uh, I found that this product, it's uh, it's marine grade 303 protecting, ultimate UV protecting. This stuff works very good on keeping rubber from cracking. Now, I can't give you a long term test. I know these things were treated with different types of uh, protectants over the years. And uh, I, I treated these, I got these used. These are, uh, these are made in Canada. These are the old ones back in the 70s. I don't know when these were made, but I got them used in great shape. Like you can see the heel is like, you know, I don't think these things were worn more than once and twice, probably on a carpet. But um, you still got to watch for the rubber that can crack. And I know they say that these are still, you know, all virgin rubber, but I heard there's problems with... Uh, boots cracking even the ones that are like pure rain boots that are all rubber the first thing that goes wrong with them they crack um, now I do know that I've used this for several years now and you can see I buy it by the gallon this I don't use it you don't need that much of it you can see this labels kind of peeling off because it's like uh, you know, I use maybe that much of it I put it in a spray bottle and I spray it on there liberally, and usually I just wipe it around my hand, you know, to get it on there good. Do it a few times. But I do know it works, because um, I put out, uh, it was a two and a half foot by six foot vinyl banner that was not designed for, to withstand the sun and outdoor elements. It was just really like, uh, not specifically for outdoor use. And I treated it with the UV protectant, that stuff. You know, every say four or five six months to once maybe maybe two or three times a year and three years later it was like still brand new shouldn't have lasted that long and I used it on my car stuff like with the uh, tires uh, the serpentine belts the vacuum hoses and all that and they never seem to have a problem I've seen a lot of where people have used them on serpentine belts in their cars they treated them with that stuff before they put them on and 100,000 miles later, the serpentine belt is absolutely fine. No cracks or nothing. So I expect this, you know, I've been doing this for the last couple of years on these boots. Um, I can't give you a side-by-side -side 10, 15 year synopsis like here's a, here's a pair treated, here's a pair untreated. You know, but I'm 110% sure it's gonna, it will work to uh, make the boots last a lot longer. Now, if you get a crack, in the, in the rubber, you can use, uh, you know, shoe goo, shoe goo, you can, get, you can get the black version or the clear version, you know, you can get it anywhere, on, uh, um, you can go on Walmart, Amazon, eBay, and get it, and it'll repair it, but see, the problem is, once the rubber starts getting old and cracking like that, you repair it once, you're just going to keep getting repairs, you're, you're, it's going to be, they're going to be done for the main problem with these boots is that you don't really wear them out. They just get, they dry out, the rubber dries out, and they crack. So, me, I'm a penny pincher like this uh, old uh, Suzuki here. This is an 85. I've had it since basically new. Been driving it for how many years has that got? I can't remember. It's more than 35 years, right? Um, you know, I just don't really like to uh well you know we're all like in that situation we can't be spending money left and right and you know the problem is too 
today if you buy something new it's a lot of times it's not made to the same standards like I think the Sorrells that were made in Canada are better than the ones that are made today that are not made in Canada these are the old ones these are from the 70s these are still good these are the ones from uh, the modern era these are Vietnam or the Chinese uh, they still seem to be about the same but you know I've heard a lot of complaints and reviews usually with the rubber cracking so I know when I got these I doused them down a few times I'm going to douse them again and again with this stuff I know it does work it does work really really well I don't know how it works I don't know what the chemical reaction is going on somehow it gets into the rubber does something or provides a protective layer and uh, anything that's like vinyl or rubber it's gonna last much longer you could use this on your tires it's definitely proven to make if you have a car that's stored a long time and you don't want to you don't want the, the tires to get um, dry rotted out you spray this on you want to do the inside of the tires then also the inner side of the tire and the outer side of the tire but also inside the tire where it's uh, before it's mounted on the car but uh, I know it definitely does work for those applications this is why I know it's going to work with this and uh, you know I'm not going to use these that much usually you don't walk around in boots like this only like if you have to sometimes um, I'm not going to wear these out so I don't feel like buying a new pair because the rubber on them crack because they were you know it's like a few pennies now we save you, you know, $150 later from buying another pair of boots. So, um, that's usually what breaks on these damn things is the rubber. The leather, you know, once you do it once with this stuff on the inside and the outside, really good. You melt it in there with a, uh, you know, a hair dryer. It's 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 on there forever, basically. This is the part that gets the problem. Anyway, hope I helped you out. Talk to you later.